Research says if girls are educated, they will have lesser children. If girls are educated, they will boost our economy. If girls are educated, they will not be married off when they are young. Research says our lives, our women, are merely cause and effect. Our curiosities could be translated into statistics. Our desires are numbered and in control. Our rights negoci negotiated to see what good can they bring to the rest of the world. Education is not a privilege or a prize distributed to those who could give something back. It is the only way we learn how to reason, to question, and if along the way women change the world a little, thank them. But when the reports assess, if it's worth the while that the distance between the home and the school is shorter, the fees have been waived, the meals and computers are all in place, but the girls, the girls are diminishing, disappearing. Ask them to recount that the last time Aarti went to school, a boy followed her back. The last time Rhea went to school was the day they discovered love letters crumpled in her bag. The last time Pooja went to school was never. Policies for women are not immeasurable favours that we make to them, which they must sprint to grab. But if and when they decide to come and take the road, let us make it easy for them. Empty schools, failed schemes exist because we block education with barbed wires of caste and class and privilege and patriarchy. The roads that lead here are made of crooked concepts of what it means for women to be educated, of what it means for women to be honorable. Its bends advertise men with knives and acid and unrequited desires that act like signboards telling them, go home. So the question is, not what happens if women are educated, but rather, how will they be educated? How will we bring the boundaries down? How will we repair the roads that lead here? How will we correct the damage that is already done?